gentlemen, and I wish you many more happy years. Would you like a kiss? Not with you. No, not from me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lock it till you tried it. Hello. I'm from the front row. Did someone pee on the seat or something? So are you okay? Oh, there's no drink table. Ah, oh, you're a smart man. Were you looking for someone, sir? Y yes, you were. Don't say that. You were standing here doing this. Can, can I... Did anybody recognise this man? No. Are you looking for your wife? She, she's not here. Where is she? If you knew, you wouldn't be looking for her. Smart man. So you make the cruise around. Are you a doctor or something? Or you're very intelligent. What, what do you do for a living? Lawyer? No? An optician? You've been polishing your glasses. Well, what's her name, your wife? Nancy, last name? Lamb? Nancy Lamb. As in... <laughs> lamb. Is, is it La Nancy Lamb? Hello? Is, is that her name? She's on board though, right? <laughs> Did you arrange to meet her here? No. You just thought she might be here. Nancy Lamb. Well, we'll give her five minutes to come, then we'll put an operation into play to see if we can find her. Because you look lonely. A little sad, like a little lost lamb. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. We are here to celebrate that wonderful institution called marriage. And I would like all the gentlemen, just to get us off in the right mood today, all the gentlemen who truly love their ladies, their partners, would you stand up right where you are? That's all we want, just to start the time off right. All the gentlemen who love their partners to stand up, please. Very good. Now, I'll be the gentlemen who are not standing that I'll be talking to. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I think we've got, why? We've got all the men standing except for Mr. Blue Shirt up there. Are, are, you, are you married? I can't see if that's a lady you're next to because you've got baseball caps on. Are you married? Is it, yeah, is he married? Don't check with her, I mean, don't you know? Stand up if you're married, stand up. You're not married. It's a business trip. Ah. Mr. Lamb's married, but he has nobody to stand up for. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to look down at the person you say you love, and in case you've forgotten to tell them, please give them a little kiss right now and say, I love you. That's all we want, a bit of romance this afternoon. Very good. Give the gentleman a round of applause for doing that. You did wonderful. Very good. How are you, ma'am? You okay? You didn't get a kiss, did you? You with him, are you? All right. Go ahead and catch up. Thank you. Very good. Ladies, you didn't get a kiss, you too, did you? No. Come on. I went to try and kiss I'm going to charge you a hundred dollars. Mr. Lamb. Yeah, you say you want to move it to another day. Do you know Mr. Lamb? Last call for Mrs. Lamb. Nancy Lamb. Is it Nancy? No, she's not here. Yeah, did they tell you that? Huh? Did they tell you that? Yeah, 99. But they I said, they said the policy the cabin, is you, you have to cancel 24 hours. Can I borrow your phone, Calvin? You can't apply that policy to yeah, me. I want you I to throw it to me, yes. That's impossible. Uh, I stand up by the time and say, well, I'm sorry, miss, we were going to shower. What do you want to do? And I'm like, thank you very much. Thank you. Like, mm -hmm. oh, don't clap for that. You threw me a phone from a foot away. And they put me on the phone. What's, what's the cabin number? I won't tell anyone. 9317. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Why do you have a reservation? Let's see if she's in the cabin. Well, I can't do the show. You look so sad. No, 
she's not there, okay. She's where? Oh, she's at the back. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Lamb. Your husband's over here. Come on, Nancy. Nancy, don't be shy. Hurry up, hurry up, Nancy, hurry up. I've stopped the whole show for you. He's over here. He was crying like a baby. Where are you? Where are you? Little lamb there. Give your lamb a kiss. Little lamb kiss. Oh, that's not. Well, that's a kiss. That's okay. All right. Here, Calvin. ladies it is your turn for romance happily married ladies or partners stand up please if you're happily married if you love your partner stand up yes and what we'd like you to do of course is look for a man in the room you'd rather be kissed by go ahead I'm kidding I'm kidding kiss your partner and say I love you too I love you too that's good all right very good now we'll be talking to some of the honeymooners if I have any honeymooners out of bed very good we'll talk to some of you in a moment but first we need to give them some advice on how to stay married for a long time. Now that advice can't come from me, it has to come from the couple who've been married the most number of years here in the room. So if you have managed 40 years or more, please would you stand up right now. 40 years or more, stand up if you have lots of them. My goodness me, look at that. All the way around the room, including four two couples there and one at the front there. Very good. Stay up now if you've been married for 45 years or more. 45. We lost a couple. Lost a couple. We lost everybody from up there. And stay up if you've managed... You really have no clue how long you've been married, do you? Stay up if you've been married for 50 years or more. 50 years or more. He had to check with his wife. So we have a couple here. One. Is there someone in the back there? I can't really see. Two. Three. Anybody in the balcony? Because I can't see up there either. No. So we've got uh, one couple. Is there a couple up in the balcony? Waving where? Where? Oh God, could you have sat any further away? How long have you two been married up there? How long? Me too. Fifth? Well, pass it back. I can't hear. 50 years, bravo to you. Give them a big round of applause. 50 fantastic years. On my left, how long? 60 years. Wow. And you two? 50 years, bravo. So, this couple here and the couple all the way at the back. Once the show is finished or sometime before you go to bed, Stop by the guest services desk, that's couple one, couple two, and just leave me your name and cabin number because you've reached a wonderful milestone. Oh, it's another one, where? Oh, I am so sorry, I can't see that. This light shines right in my face. How long have you two been married? 56 years, that's absolutely fantastic. I'm so sorry for missing it. So couple one, couple two, couple three. Please leave me a little note with your cabin number at the guest services desk so we can send something to you on behalf of everybody on the ship to wish you many, many more happy years and many congratulations. So one, two, three. But the winners are over here 60 years. Let's give them a nice hand. Come and join me up here a second, would you? Yeah, stop waving and... Then, yes, that's it. Tell him what to do. Very good. Look at her hat. I love that. All sparkly. Come over here, sir. Very good. Oh, he's letting her go for... Oh, look at the romance in lie. Look. Look at that. Take your time. Oh, I should help you, shouldn't I? Give me your arm, darling. It's a bit of an awkward step, please. Take your time. Very good. You okay there, sir? You've got a bad leg? That's all right. You look fantastic. Come and lean on me. Stand here. There you go, sir. Come on my other side, would you? Very good. Hello, what's your name? Ruby. Ruby. Oh, you look perfect name for you. Ruby what? Palmer. Ruby Palmer. Where are you from, Ruby? Oh, 
Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City, there you go. And over here, Joe Palmer. Oh, you've got the same last name, that's good, isn't it, Joe? Hi, uh, Joe, look at this, a little bit of nipple there, look at that. There you go, look, a little bit of nipple. No nipple, nipple, no nipple, nipple, there you go. Oh, she wants a picture of the nipple, there you go, there it is. Joe, you look fantastic. 60. Now, first of all, what's hitting me here is you must have been married very, very young. Am, am I right? 19. You were 19. Wow. And you were? 22. 22. Let's go back, though, even before the marriage, Joe. Uh, and, and Ruby, do you remember the first time you ever saw each other? The first time your eyes met? Do you remember where you were and what you were doing? I was a dancer. I was on a dance floor and I across the room. I saw him and I said, I'm going to marry that guy. Wow. You were a dancer. What, what kind of, was this like in a dance troupe? No, it's a USO. It's a USO. Fan, and was he was in uniform? Yes. Army? Air Force. Air Force. Bravo, sir. So, where was this? Where were you? Star Falls, Texas. In Texas. So you look, you're doing your, your USO show, and this, this beautiful dancer was on stage. She's thinking, that man over there in uniform is going to be my husband. What were you thinking? Well, she was winking at me. <laughs> she was winking at you. What, like, can you, can you show us what you were doing? Oh, yeah, do you remember that wink? Do you remember the wink? Was it, was it love at first sight for you? Uh, yeah, I think so. Was. And she was the only girlfriend you ever had? No. <laughs> Good, honest answer. So, so, you know, there's all these young ladies here, and we're going to do this from a lady's point of view. And even people who've been married a few years who are looking at you and they're thinking, oh, goodness, I hope I'm with my partner for 60 years. What's the secret from a lady's point of view? Is there any advice you can give these wonderful people out here and looking at you as a role model, anything you can tell them you think may help them on the road, which is sometimes rocky a bit of marriage. How have you survived 60 years? Well, I guess I've just done everything you wanted to do. <laughs> yeah. Look at you got a standing ovation from a man over there. Yeah, anything you wanted to do, I did. Is that right, Joe? That's right. So that, is that your advice to the men? Is, is be the boss, tell her what you want and make sure she does it. Well, just have a good line of communication. Some communication. Who is the boss, deep down? Who is the bo boss of this? Well, I think I am, but she is. You think you are, but deep down, she's playing the game, and at the end of the day, she is the boss. Is that right? Well, that's one of well, 60 years is, is a fantastic time. Is he still a romantic man? He's my man. He's your man. When was the last time you were romantic? Uh, what port were you in? Oh, you were in a port. <laughs> No wonder we didn't feel the ship rocking too much. There it is again, look. Okay. <laughs> I wish you both oh, many, many, many more happy years together. Uh, we're going to finish this uh, with a little kiss, but please do, because I'm a terrible... Uh, Calvin, can you help me remember the name for me, Mr. and Mrs. Palmer? And we're going to send you some, uh, some champagne and strawberries just to have a little bit of a romantic night with, okay? And uh, sit outside, and, and I wish you many more happy years. Would you like a kiss? Not with you. No, not from me. <laughs> Don't knock it till you tried it. Give her a big kiss. My wife. There you go. Hey, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, 60 years, give Mr. and Mrs. Palmer a big round of applause. Thank you, Ruby. Palmer is going to help you down the stairs. And oh, you're a platinum cruiser. Look, you've done a lot of cruises with us. Look at that. That's Calvin. Okay. Calvin. Gonna help you down the stairs. There you go. Let's give them another big hand. That's wonderful to see. Right. Okay. Let us talk now to the other side of marriage. People have just started. Can I ask all the ladies who are on their honeymoon to stand up, please? If you're here, stand up. There they are. Now, looking at these, we have to remember something, and that is for the first time, these girls, for many of them, are in a vertical position. So. <laughs> Most of them have been uh, relaxing, most of the crews. This is the start of their married life. Please give them all a huge round of applause. Fantastic. Now, Calvin has left me four chairs here, which means I'm going to choose four of 
you. If I do not use you in this event, trust me, you will be doing something with me before the end of the cruise, and we'll leave that as a little secret for now. But I would like a, a lady here to tell me if she feels she had the most amazing, the most romantic, the most incredible. John, you've never heard a wedding proposal like the one I had. It was unbelievable. If you had one of those, something that you can stand up here and say, it was the best, raise your hand for me right now. <laughs> All right, we've got one lady over here. Come up here, this lady here. I want to take this lady here. Hold on, I I'm going to take this lady with the huge earrings because her husband keeps trying to pull her down. <laughs> that was a huge mistake what you just did. I don't care if she had a good one or not. You, the fact that you do not want her up here is good enough for me to say, you, come up here now, please. Had a good slap. That was good. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you go back? Can you go back? Uh, many of us didn't see you hit him. So if you could do it again, please. Thank you very much. Anybody have a boring one? A really awful, boring wedding proposal?